excited for not one, not two, but 80 games. He is gone for this season. He is the first, is one of three players in not just baseball, but sports history to not play a single game in the following season after coming in the top three for MVP voting. There was Sandy Koufax, who was the only other baseball player to do it, as he retired afterward because of his injury. And now there's Fernando Tatis Jr. as the only other. The other one was a boxer who had a uh, injury. I forget who. Might have been Tyson. I don't know. But so Fernando is just the second base MLB player ever after coming in top three for MVP voting to not play a single game next season. Troy? Yeah, Tatis was supposed to be uh, a part of the trio in San Diego. They just acquired um, Juan Soto, and they had uh, Manny Machado. Um, there's, um, I thought they were going to go really, really far in the playoffs, and Fernando Tatis Jr. was going to be returning in days of when he, he, they, he tested positive for uh, enhanced uh, drug P-E-D. Yeah, yeah, P-E-D. You said P-E-D's. So, the 80-game suspension is weak. 162 games. I want them out for this year, and I want them out for most of next year. Yeah. Me, that as, a, is, me as a Met fan, I'm actually really happy about this because, um, it takes away the threat of the Padres going to the World Series. The Padres are still such a threat. Juan Soto, Manny Machado. They have um, Grissom, Cronenworth. They acquired Josh Hader, one of, the, one of, if not the best closer in baseball right now. Brandon Drury, who they acquired at the deadline, the most underrated, one of the most underrated players. In baseball, in my opinion, right behind Ty France. I mean, they are still a dominant threat without Fernando. They've been good this year. They will continue to be good. They will make the playoffs without Tatis. I think they're going to make the wild card. Right. They're going to make the wild card. They're not winning their division. They're not beating the Dodgers. The Dodgers, Dodgers are, are like 15 games ahead. We've gone, We've been undefeated since uh, taking Joey Gallo, knock on wood. And... Fernando is not going to do anything for the Padres. Now, A.J. Preller and Manny and Mike Clevenger were not happy about Fernando being out. I mean, Preller said that you would think there would be some maturity between now, from the offseason and now, when Fernando got in a motorcycle accident or whatever. And that's why he's missed all this time, a motorcycle accident. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Disappointing to Padre. This might get AJ Prowler fired. Yeah. This might get Prowler fired. Yeah. If they don't win within the next few years, considering they went out and got Soto, they went out and spent big money on Fernando, they spent money on Machado. What else can they do? If this does not work, this would be the second time that Prower has went big and home. Yeah. Without a doubt, he would be fired. He's uh, Tatis is on like a 10-year mega million dollar contract. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And for part of the season, I actually have to... This Tatis is pretty much at blame um, for the injury that he had. Yes, you don't get without a doubt. Without a doubt, you can't you can't get a motorcycle accident and then it's just and then take PD and then just you're out for the season. That's yeah, you can't take a he, like what what was the, and then the ringworm thing. Did you hear his excuse? What <laughs> that it was a ringworm medication. So like a ringworm is when you get like a worm inside of you and you can like see it. Yeah. And it was a ringworm medication that he did not know had steroids. You could buy that off of Amazon without steroids. Are you kidding me? This is the lamest excuse I've ever heard in my life. It's horrible. We've heard Braun do this. We've heard Cano do it. How did that work out for the both of them? They will both not be in the Hall 
of fame hopefully i mean with the way people are voting nowadays you never know but they will both not be in the hall of fame and fernando might join them on that list now yep i mean and they say that it had nothing to do with his stats before that yeah but if you look at his like rookie year picture and then you look at his picture like right before. Yeah. I mean, he's insanely bigger, faster, and it's for way more power. Fernando Tatis Jr., um, he gets injured a lot, and he's like... And people that use steroids get injured a lot. He's a piece of glass, I think. He's just, he gets broken a lot. He's, you can't, there's how there's, he can't go with a season without getting injured. It's, it, it's impossible for him. And that's why the 10 year mega million dollar contract makes no sense. You're paying a good baseball player that can't stay on the field and is as immature as a five-year-old. Yeah. He's horrible. Yeah. He, he, should be, he should be banned for... I mean, at least the Padres don't have to pay him for this. But they should not have had to pay him while he was out on the injury list. That's his fault for being on the injury list. That is his fault. Being in a motorcycle accident, he, that should be... And why in the contract does it not say you can't be on a freaking motorcycle? Or if there's any injuries that are at, on your fault in the off season, you can't get paid. This well, no, but you could say you're. Oh, you should. They should put in their contract. No snowboarding. No skiing. No motorcycle. No this. No that. No, that just then guys won't play. It's that's how Mahomes' but, contract is set up. That's how Brady's. But he, there's, these guys are getting paid, um, even if they're injured, even if they're off the field. Like, baseball is, if you're off the field, even if you're injured, you're getting paid. Like, Juan Cespedes on the Mets. He got, he was out for like four years straight. And, he was and then just out. left the team. He legit just left the team, like. Legit, Did you hear just, that before that, though, that it came out that Tatis is, um, that Tatis was, um, suspended for 80 games. His brother got, um, DFA'd by the White Sox. Like, right, like, right before that happened. And I mean... People have invested tons of money in Fernando to be good, and baseball cards, and jerseys, and autograph stuff. And, it's, I and then for him to just be caught on steroids. It's he, he leave a like on this video if you want to see a rant video about steroids. Because steroids are ridiculous. The fact that you could have Barry Bonds home runs as the greatest home run hitter of all time count? But I feel like also steroids save the game of baseball. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. How does steroids save the game of baseball? It's so so. So so. So so. so, so? Yeah. How did he? <laughs> Cause dude, MLB was at an all time low at that time and so so and McGuire. McGuire hitting home runs every single night, and I feel like they were using steroids, and it pretty much. They were. It, but they pretty much. It, it's. The MLB was at an all time low at that time. So that pretty much made everybody turn the television and watch McGuire pretty much hit a home run every night, or Sosa hit a home run every night. It's. So that discredits everything to ever happen in a game before and after. It didn't save baseball. Ripken saved baseball. Ripken was the one that put everybody back in the seats. He set up McGuire and Sosa. 
good for McGuire and Sosa. They could get some steroids and then become like Dwayne The Rock Johnson and hit tons of home runs. How does that save the game of baseball? And then when they found out, then the game dropped right back down. All right, so back, back to Tatis. So he has been out like for a while. He's not been in this whole season. So do you think that when he comes back, even if he does Nando things, do you think that he could even be in contention for a Hall of Fame? At this point, after he got caught for steroids, maybe I it's the at such a young age for him to be this good is it's rare to see a player this good. Steroids. Well, how do you know he got steroids that young? It's if they didn't if they just took a test right now. I feel like he put steroids back in so that he could just just get back on like just come back even better than he was like and just try to get back uh from the accident and because he was just he was in rehab so he was in rehab games and all that stuff and then this happened so and then he tested positive for steroids yeah and that's probably half the reason why he decided to take them then while he was injured because they're not going to test him yeah, sort of. Well, that's it for today's video about Tatis. Next up is the step.